dozens of companies are now racing to come up with that coronavirus vaccine. But that speed also comes with potential setbacks. Joining us now is Dr. Paul Offit. He is the head of the Vaccine Education Center at Children's Hospital of Philadelphia. Dr. Offit, thank you for being here with us. Thank you. All right, so what are some of the potential drawbacks of trying to develop a vaccine so quickly? Well, with the average length of time it takes to do the research and research of development of a vaccine is about 20 years. So I think you can assume when you're trying to do it in about a year or a year and a half, there are steps that are being skipped or compressed. I think that the, 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 the good news is that everything's on the table. I think all possible vaccine candidates are now being tested. There's a lot of money behind this. There's a lot of interest in this. There's a lot of expertise in this. And where this is going to play out, I think, is a hopefully big placebo-controlled prospective trial that's going to be really done by the National Institutes of Health that could start in July, and hopefully it will be big enough to answer the questions we need to answer is, is this vaccine or these vaccines safe, and are they effective? Because I really think it's going to be more than one vaccine that rolls out into the United States and into the world. Sure. Yeah, what about a natural immunity? We hear so much about that. Do we know if people already exposed to this virus will then be protected from getting it again? We know from studies of human coronaviruses, and there are four types of human coronavirus that have been circulating for decades, we know that infection with one type does protect you against challenge with that type at least a year later. I think we can say this virus is stable. It doesn't appear to mutate. It's not like influenza. So I think you are going to be protected with re-challenge. I think the question is uh, how complete that protection is and how long live that protection is. But I think we, we can make a successful vaccine. You know, time is of the essence for a myriad of reasons here. People are concerned about the economy. Do you personally think that we are in a place now where it's safe to start this reopening process, reopening businesses and other public spaces? Right. Well, the, the, in, in a better world, we would have had the testing we needed, which would have been about 5 million tests a day, as many as 30 million a week. That's not going to happen. Governors have been asking me about this now for weeks and weeks, and it hasn't happened yet. I think we could assume it's not going to happen. So what we're doing is we have a grand national experiment where we basically are opening up uh, districts and regions and states. And I think three to four weeks, we're going to look back on this and see which ones we should have opened and which ones we shouldn't have. And I think we're going to learn this, this uh, the hard way. All right, Dr. Paul Offit with right, Children's Paul Hospital Offit. Philadelphia. Thank you so much for being here. Thanks Thank for your you. insight.